Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Get to Know series. Today we will be focusing on Kalani Melflock, an energetic dogman, an amazing sniper, and the comic relief on my series Chikara. Let's get started everyone. <laughs> Yo, what is up everybody? I know it has been a minute. It's uh, It's been a minute for it for a while. And the reason behind that is because number one, I got a little cold, I was sick. So my energy levels plummeted and I was only able to work on chapter 14 of my manga as well as my other projects for Saturday AM and work. I mean, most of you guys know that I do a lot of stuff. I teach, I coach volleyball, uh, work for Saturday AM and myself. So it's, it's a lot and, and juggling all of that and trying to give you guys good content for Instagram, for the manga itself and also YouTube. It, it's a lot so I had to kind of put something on hold and I just try I kind of chose YouTube to be that to kind of just be put back for a little bit because yes I love YouTube and yes I love making videos but in, in the grand scheme of things my other stuff is more important right now than YouTube so that's kind of why not just for recent videos but just more upcoming stuff I am just very busy so bear with me if videos are taking a little bit more time to come out rather than they used to which is once a week that's kind of the reason why it's just I have a lot going on right now and I'm just trying to balance just trying to balance things out you know trying to figure out this adult stuff but we're gonna go ahead and hop right into the video because I know you guys that love Kalani want to know more about her so Kalani Melflock who is this crazy dog girl character that everybody seems to love more than the main character himself well Kalani is a lot of things and you know and I say that because there is a lot of things that is going that is going to happen and that are going to happen with her really really soon chapter 15 is going to be a very big chapter for her character development but also the character dynamic between her and the main character for those of you that have already read chapter 14 you kind of are already seeing this kind of it's a it's, you're, you're getting to see kind of more of why she does not like the main character why she butts head butt heads with him a lot and for some reason he just can't seem to figure out why she doesn't like him um so if you haven't read chapter 14 go read chapter 14 you'll get uh, all the information you kind of need leading into chapter 15 but it's going to be a really 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 good chapter and uh, i hope you guys enjoy it um chapter 15 is gonna be pretty crazy so kalani melflock kalani is the adopted little sister of diaz melflock that's why she has her last name but they are not actually related by blood they are really really close so kalani sees diaz as her big sister and diaz also sees kalani as her little sister because diaz never had any siblings outside of her, you know her best friends zeb sanchez and the main character chris and even then those aren't even her blood siblings at all either you know they're just really 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 close friends so for those of you that are caught up with the manga but or have a read up until a certain part you know what the world map is kalani's race is a dogman they hail from the country of canine which is basically most of asia at the moment in the apocalyptic uh world map um, so her inspiration really came from, like I told you guys in most of my videos, the inspiration behind characters normally come from my personal friends or people in real life um, because I like to base my characters off of people. I think it's really, really fun. Um, but Kalani is actually not a person in real life. She is an actual dog. Um, she is the actual pet of the in real life Diaz. Um, she is a real dog. Her name is Kalani. She is this amazing little puppy. You, you, I have her on the screen right now. Kalani is literally like my my adopted my adopted dog. I, I love Kalani um, with all my heart. Uh, she's just an amazing dog. Um, and then, like I said, there's images on the screen. You guys can see what she looks like. I, I try to pull some pictures, some videos, just so you guys get to see and in real life Kalani. And I based Kalani in the manga off Kalani in real life because they have very similar personalities, almost to the point to where it's bipolar. Because sometimes Kalani will be really, really crazy, and like she'll be boxing people, jumping all around. And other times she's really standoffish. She's like, "Don't touch me. Don't. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. You stay over there." Like she's very, you know, she's very 50-50. And it is based on if she knows you or not. If she knows who you are, she's going to be very, very energetic. She's going to be very warm to you. But if you're very new and she doesn't know who you are, she's going to be like, don't touch me. I'm staying over here by Diaz. I don't want anything to do with you. So in the manga, I wanted to make her not as standoffish to everyone, but mainly standoffish to the main character because I felt like it would be a better dynamic um, and kind of add a little bit of spice to the story. That way, it's not everyone's just being friends with the main character off the rip. There is some diversity there. There's some 
conf conflict of interest and personalities just like with ewing um he didn't really like you know the main character until he got to know the main character and saw what he stood for and i kind of wanted to do that with kalani so it wasn't just immediately oh i'm a happy little bubbly little dog girl and i love everybody i wanted her to be this kind of like i don't know you why are you coming into our life changing everything kind of dynamic you know what i mean like i want her to be kind of standoffish to the main character so over time they build that relationship and grow and get close because in real life that's how it was for me and the real life dog version of kalani kalani did not really warm up to me for a while until i babysat her a couple of times when diaz was out of town um i was just around more and you know now now kalani is my my buddy she's my little my little ride or die buddy so in the manga at the moment kalani is 15 years old she is one of the younger characters of the series kind of thrown into this apocalyptic adult world so she's had to mature very very fast um for those of you that have read the first couple of chapters she's 15 and she's out here sniping people so she's not afraid of firearms she's not afraid of being by herself she's not afraid of fighting things by herself defending herself she is not by any means like just a, uh, I hate I hate to say it, but a wimpy little teenage girl. She's not. Kalani is very very strong, and and it, and it comes off with her appearance of her being maybe this kind of airheaded, um, one track girl that's like you know only focused on one thing, or her, her mind's all over the place, or she doesn't care. But deep down, she is very she is very strong willed. She knows what she has to do. She gets serious when she has to be, and even in some situations, just like in recent chapter 14, she's even taking something some things more serious. And the main character who even though he's 500 plus years old mentally he's still only like 23 which you know he is an adult so you can kind of see the dynamic of how sometimes she thinks she's better than him because she's and i'll honestly had to do things just you know in her living in this new world that he hasn't had to do which you know is either shooting demons fighting demons maybe even hunting people i don't I, not, not not like good people but like evil people you know you know what i mean kalani and i here just hunting people like that but you know just apocalyptic things um and that being said she even though she is very very tough and she's able to fight off and defend herself um she doesn't really have a lot of goals like some of the other characters that i've talked about um because at the end of the day she is still 15 she's you know at the moment she's kind of just going day by day in this world she wants to stay close to her big sister diaz she doesn't want to get that far away from her um because if you read chapter 14 you saw a little bit of the backstory i don't want to spoil it for those that haven't read it um but you'll see why she sticks so close to diaz and not just diaz but vanoli as a whole because that's her that's her um foundation that's her safe space so she at this moment she's just enjoying her teenage years you know she's doing staying close to diaz going on scouting missions you know having fun with her friends you know some of her best friends are tasha and some of the girls from the cosmetic corporation so you know she's just being a kid she's enjoying her youth and and i think that's it's something good to see in the apocalyptic world that i'm building that you know hey like even though all these adults are going on these life-threatening missions and some of them have goals of shape changing the world and saving the world or maybe liberating you know a country or whatever you know there, there's people that are just you know taking it day by day and and they're and they're trying to figure themselves out because i want teenagers that read my story and young ones to see that like you know even though the world the world around you could be falling apart you know it, it's hard yes but you can't focus on the negative all the time sometimes you have to Look at look at the positive and, and take out some positivity out on whatever's going on and and go with it because that is life and you know no life isn't gonna always be super super cool super super sweet everything's gonna be good there's gonna be challenges there's gonna be obstacles and you have to find a way to keep the positivity for yourself and your mental health but also your friends and family um, because we're all human and we're all in this together and everybody gotta step up put a brick down lay that foundation so we all can live in a big house. So Kalani Melflock's powers. So let's talk about that because like I said, there's a lot that's gonna happen in chapter 15 and I'm not giving any spoilers away at all for you guys because chapter 14, 15, sorry, chapter 15 is gonna be a really good chapter. But what I could tell you, um, so Kalani, since she is a dogman, um, she's just that, a dog man. She has all the senses of a dog, so she has a really good sense of smell, really great eyesight, really good hearing um overall just really great aspects of a dog but she's also you know um human too so she has all abilities that humans have you know 
we we don't really have a lot of abilities, but I, I think humans are pretty cool. Um, <laughs> uh, she's a great sniper, excellent. I guess I should say marksman. She's an excellent marksman. Um, she doesn't just use a sniper rifle. I've showcased her with the sniper, but um, soon to come, she's going to be using some other weapons in her arsenal because uh, she is a really great. Um, Guns, gunsman. I guess that's the the right word to say. She's a very great gunsman. She can use a mul she can use multiple different types of weapons and ammo types and and be just as efficient um, with those as she would a sniper. I guess if you wanted to compare her to someone that's that kind of is more relatable, you compare her more like Usopp. Usopp is a very excellent marksman with his slingshot. Whether it's the really really big slingshot or if it's the really really small slingshot. Um, he's he, he's a pretty good uh, shot with relatively anything, and I'm pretty sure he was in a tank at some point too. I, I don't know what's going on in One Piece. I'm still trying to catch up, but um, he he's pretty good in, in anything I guess that involves a, a bullet. So you can think of it that way too. And like I said, there's a lot more to come for her, and I want you guys to read it and experience that rather than me tell you about it right now because um, in the future. If I do decide to do another video and update an illustration on her, um, you'll get all of the new information at that point. But this video is strictly for the Kalani right now. Um, and like I said, chapter 15 is going to be a really, really, really good chapter. I think you guys are going to enjoy it a lot. Um, there's going to be a lot that happens with Kalani, with the main character. Um, it's going to be it's going to be really cool. In my opinion, this is where the story officially really starts taking off because yeah, we had the beginning arc, which is always fun, and there's a lot of mysteries and questions that are going to be answered in time, but this is kind of where rubber meets the road and things start really getting crazy and the story really starts to pick up. I think chapter 15 is where in my opinion, the journey officially begins. So guys, that's it. This is the updated illustration of Kalani Melflock at the moment in the story. I hope you enjoyed this little get to know for Kalani because like I said, there's more to come for her. So don't feel like this is all um, that you're going to get because there's going to be so much more. There's going to be so much that happens to her. And I'm excited to tell you guys about it. I'm excited to show you guys about it in the manga. If you have not checked out Chapter 14, it is available now. It came out on Saturday. If you have not caught up at all, you can read my manga for free on Pilot Manga by Saturday AM. Chapters 1 through 14 are available. And you can check that out. But other than that, guys, I appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. I have tons of stuff. Tons of stuff to keep you guys entertained for a minute. If you are new to the channel, if you are a returning fan or subscriber, like I said, appreciate the patience. You guys are awesome. And I will catch you guys for the next video. Peace.